A unique form of brain stimulation boosts people's ability to remember new information by mimicking how our brains create memories. Imagine a prosthetic device capable of restoring decision-making in people with reduced capacity due to brain disease or injury. The idea sounds like a Black Mirror episode. But a new study by researchers at Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center provided some of the first evidence that a memory prosthetic is possible in humans. The new prosthetic isn't a device. Instead, it's a series of electrodes implanted inside the hippocampus that encodes our daily experiences. It works by copying what happens in the hippocampus, a seahorse-shaped region deep in the brain that plays a crucial role in memory. The process seems to work well in people with memory disorders and is even more effective in people with poor memory to begin with. In the future, more advanced versions of the prosthesis could help people with memory loss due to brain injuries or as a result of aging or degenerative diseases like Alzheimer's, say the researchers. For more than 20 years, scientists Theodore Berger, Dong Song, Sam Deadweiler, Rob Hampson, and their colleagues have been developing a way to mimic this process. Their idea is to use brain electrodes to understand the electrical patterns of activity that occur when memories are encoded and then use those same electrodes to fire similar activity patterns. Recently, a Wake Forest University School of Medicine team tested versions of this prosthesis in human volunteers with epilepsy who already had electrodes implanted in their brains to better understand and treat their condition. To find out if it might help people with poor memory, the team, led by Deadweiler and Hampson, tested two versions of the memory prosthesis on 24 people. The researchers found that its memory prosthesis improved the volunteers' memory test performance. Their scores were significantly higher if they received the correct stimulation pattern when first presented with test images. This suggests that the memory processes can help encode memories in the brain, the researchers say. They noted improvements that range from 11% to 54%. Song hopes the improvements to their memories will be lasting. In theory, the stimulation each person received could have strengthened the wiring of neurons in the hippocampus, he says. Som, Hampson, and their colleagues hope their memory prosthesis could one day be widely used to restore memory in people with memory disorders. Hampson, both a neuroscientist and sci-fi author, has been putting the science in science fiction for many years. Now, he is one step closer to writing the entire history of you. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.